if that's recording. <laughs> start, start that again. <laughs> no, no, no. We can just oh, oh, we can edit it. Yeah, okay. Cut it out. <laughs> Hi, this is Carly. And I'm Paige. And this is our Japan Week One blog. Okay, so we first found each other um, after we both got off our planes. Yes, yeah, so I'd come from Belarus, so um, it had been a very long trip for me. Um, not as long as returning back to Australia, so I was happy about that, but um, I was pretty tired from um, the World Championships um, and I was glad to see a friendly face after Paige arrived in Japan. <laughs> yeah, I had a longer trip from um, New Zealand, but um, it was a lot warmer there to come to the cold Japan, so but just was, rugged up yeah. and got on with it. <laughs> um, so first off, we... Um, we were taken away from each other pretty quickly into um, interviews, um, but we soon found each other again um, on a mat with our shoes off, <laughs> um, having dinner. Yeah, real sushi for the first time, which was absolutely amazing. Yes, um, very good. It took a little while to come, and our poor interpreter and um, had to wait an extra hour, an extra half an hour after we had eaten for the sashimi sushi. So we were pretty lucky. Yeah, yeah, very lucky. Um, and so. then yeah, we got to go back to a really nice hotel in the McEwa Hotel um, on a nice mattress. Uh, yes. Let alone that'd be the last night we spend on a nice mattress. Yes. I was not aware of that. So no, me neither. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then day two started. Yeah. So um, on day two, it was. Um, Five hours of travelling to the Japan Care and School. Um, uh, oh, there was lots of <laughs> really bad detours on the way. The um, we were sort of sitting in the back yeah. and just watching the GPS go. The GPS goes this way, and then the driver goes this way, and then it recalculates and keeps sort of going. But um, yeah, it was pretty hard for us because we <laughs> we. And also on the highways, they were only going like 80 kilometres an hour, and I'm sitting there going, oh, my God, yeah. please, just a little bit faster, just a little bit faster. Yeah. And um, they decided to try and take a shortcut over the mountain instead of around the mountain, and so we were like this the whole way in the car. Yeah. And I was just trying to sleep, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, this, so we found um, a bit of snow on the mountains. Um, that was so, cool. Yeah, yeah, it was a little interesting. Um, and so from there we went to the uh, Karen School, which was um, sort of not as we had imagined. Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of like up on the top of a hill. Yeah, it's on the top of a mountain, <laughs> and there's like four velodromes, so it's pretty, it's pretty crazy and um, real isolated. Like the mm -hmm. gate is like monitored by a man all the time. Yeah. So um, yeah, you've got to get like special entrance, obviously, to get in, and then. Yeah, it's sort of like military camp. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty, um, a lot of concrete and like kind of a bit grey, but at the same time, you look out over the mountains and it's really beautiful, especially at sunset. And um, yeah, everyone wears uniforms and it's very. All the boys have like shaved hair. Yeah. And the girls, it's like a short haircut and you know, a little parting. Yeah. Sort of very cute. Um, yeah, from there we. Um, Assembled our bikes, um, which was we had a crowd of about twenty people. Which yeah, was, sort of like following us around, but yeah. it was great. I mean, they you know did our bikes for us pretty much. Yeah, but we didn't have didn't to do, do anything. And we actually haven't had to do much since we've been here. We haven't had to change our own gears. We haven't. No. You know, they supervise us when we go to the supermarket, so yeah, we it's, haven't really spent much time just on our own. Yeah, just chilling out. Sip yeah. now. Yeah, sip, sip now. now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we got some. We got to meet some cool people when we first arrived. Um, one person was called Tomity, and yeah. he made us some special gifts, which we'll show you. Yeah. Um, um, it was plenty of gifts on day one, which yeah. was just like so welcoming and just yeah, so special. So this is um, one of the gifts we got. It's a wire with our with our name on it. You can probably just see it there yeah. a little bit, um, but really really intricate don't know how he did it it's absolutely crazy really amazing yeah and then it's got a little message on it oh, on the glass bottle it says girls Karen in japan 2013 from me to carly may mcculloch made by tomity so yeah and then it's got like a little flag thing on it that says good luck which is yeah. really cute yeah. um and then yeah we got plenty of other gifts um tomity we're not sure quite what the name of them are yeah, they're just but, stickers. But they're, yeah, they're stickers that, you know, sort of say our name and in Japanese. Sort of something like that. And, um, yeah, heaps of um, 
plenty of cookies, <laughs> food. And, yeah, lots of that sort of thing. I think thing. they're trying to make us fat so that we don't win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then we also got this, um, each we got a personal seal, which um, is like a little stamp that sort of like it says our name, yeah. little Patterson, and on Carly's it obviously says McCulloch. So um, when we go to the race meets, we'll like, instead of doing a signature, we do a personal stamp. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and um, I got my new bike. So Kalavinka is um, the people that make my bike for me. Pretty cool top, I reckon. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. And I get to ride my BT, which I'm pretty happy about as well because then I don't have to get used to anything new. Yeah. <laughs> Um, from there, we got to go and have dinner at what is apparently the international boys' favourite restaurant in Japan, which was, um, believe it or not, just a steakhouse. <laughs> um, and we, yeah, we had a very, very nice steak. They cooked it very well, didn't they? Yeah. And you got like a salad bar buffet style, yeah. um, which was really awesome as well because we both really like salad. Yeah. And an ice cream bar too, which yes. sort of topped it off. <laughs> very much so. But it um, was... Um, yeah, we plan on going back. Yeah, we plan we'll on going that. back. It's pretty close to where we're staying and it's actually got a signed picture of Simon Van Beldhoven. Yes. He must be a local there. So And his um, signature and it says, you know, bronze medal. So, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty happy cool. to know him. Um, and then we finally got back to our apartment for <laughs> the first time, which we're in, we're in the same building but different apartments. And um, so far we pretty much like, I'll go and cook dinner in pages. She'll come to breakfast in mine. So it's, yeah, yeah. we're kind of a... It was all pretty set up pretty well. Like we walked in and, you know, you've got your own pots and pans. They've brought it all brand new for us. And um, there's a washing machine. There's, yeah. yeah. It's like a little house. It's, it's kind of really interesting good. to like try and work the washing machine at times. Don't, <laughs> <It's only laughs> we don't Japanese. understand it. <laughs> we just push buttons and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. But so far it's been good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. And then that's just pretty much day one. Day two. Day one finished. Though. Oh, yeah, day one yeah. finished. Um, and so, yeah, then day three started. Yeah, so day three started with, an, like, an orientation. So we got a tour around the um, around the Kieran School. Um, there's actually four velodromes at the Kieran School. There's a – firstly, there's an indoor 250, which looks amazing. I really am looking forward to going and having a look there. I'm not sure if we can ride on it, but we're definitely going to go have a look. There's a at, there's two outdoor 400s and there's an outdoor 333. Um and they're just super smooth and yeah, like they're so like close. It's yeah. pretty much just like a normal outdoor track, like sort of what degree banking would you say? It's pretty steep banking. Yes, yeah, maybe thirty five, forty degrees. Yeah, I'd forty degree so. banking. Yeah. yeah, so they're yeah they're pretty much just like any general um, outdoor velodrome, but good surfaces, really well looked after. Everything not here bumpy in Japan. at all. Like, yeah. I was surprised by that. I was expecting yeah. them to be quite bumpy. Like, uh, Colorado is quite bumpy, but, yeah. yeah, it's just, like, smooth ass. Yeah, yeah, and all, like, really clean, really well looked after mm. sort of thing. Um, next, <laughs> we had uh, three hours of um, racing school, rules. pretty much. <laughs> yeah, just learning about racing and all the rules and stuff. Um, I think this was hard for us because we were both super tired. Like, there was there was a point there where I was kind of like, yeah, nodding off. <laughs> and it wasn't that it was boring. It was just that um, I think the rules are pretty similar to UCI, so it's not really much too much new to us. The new new things are the um, like the words that they use for warnings and disqualifications. Yeah. So, so like um, a disqualification is a shikaku, and which you don't want because you get fined. Yeah, and that's <laughs> about five hundred dollars New Zealand yeah. to get fined. So you don't want that. Um, and then the warning is juju, which is also a fine, but not yeah, as much. Not as much, but still, you yeah. don't want either. No, we don't want. No, we don't, don't want any of them. Um, so it's pretty much just like UCI rules, but a lot stricter. Yeah. At times. Yeah. <laughs> I think that um, like when they went through this, the the rules and stuff, they showed us a lot of examples, and it, it you know it kind of looked not so bad. So we were a bit worried to start off with, but when we had our racing practice, so. I, I, I don't think it was that bad. No, we kind of got away with stuff. Yeah, that and not yeah. like it was like massive stuff like we're giving people hooks, but, no. <laughs> um, you, you know, if you do come out of the lane and you do obstruct someone, if you don't, like, really obstruct them to so badly, it, you, you won't get a juju. No. Yeah. So um, in the videos, examples, we saw lots of crashes, but that was just them showing us not what, like, what not to do. Yeah. Thing. But there's some pretty stupid... Mm. 
yeah. by the end I was like, I don't want to see any more crashes, please. Yeah. So, and then, but the worst thing was is that like they would show you the replay and then like in slow motion, so you're like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. And like, so, but yeah. it was like pretty stupid, like things like there'd be a gap, like this little, and someone would try yeah, to go to was... the inside, and then they all fall. So yeah, yeah they were pretty silly things. Um, and so in Japan, there is 44 tracks, like velodromes, which is quite a lot. Yeah. Seeming New Zealand has only about 10 sort of outdoor velodromes, so um, that's pretty cool. And um, we learned that it started in 1948. Yeah, 49, 48, 48. One, one of them. <laughs> yeah. So, and then since then, um, it's been up and running, and it's a, like they are really strict in school and stuff um, for the Karen students because. Um, gambling, on, yeah. yeah, is quite a big thing. Mm. So, um, yeah, it's, and we saw like videos of like spectators being quite uh, angry with the results of races and yeah, like throwing if, stuff at the people. So if someone didn't riders. try like hard enough, then um, or if there was a crash sort of halfway through the race when you couldn't restart, like the people would throw stuff on the track to so that the judges would have to stop the race. Yeah, because obviously people will put a lot of money into these races and you know they want their rider to at least finish yeah so um we, we're hoping that we don't get things thrown at yeah, us <laughs> yeah yeah so um and then we had some more um media interviews and so far we've had a lot of them <laughs> yeah we were told not to tell the boys that we've had a lot of attention because um yeah we've had a lot more that apparently than what they have ever had combined so we're kind of a little bit proud of that yeah <laughs> but at it's the same good. time it's um it can be quite testing because we get asked a lot of the same questions and everything has to be interpreted so yeah, they will ask a question slow. in Japanese the guy would the our interpreter would translated to English then we would say our version in English and then he would translate it to, yeah. the, to the reporter so it can be quite um, yeah and a lot of the questions are like the same so we get like oh you know what Japanese food do you like and mm. what message do you have for the, the fans, fans and and where do you want to go what do you want to spend your prize money yeah, on yeah what do you want to spend your prize they money on they think that we're going to win everything for some reason <laughs> yeah yeah so um, yeah and then uh, after that we had the welcome dinner which was really cool. Yeah, the work of Genesis probably so far, other than today, which we'll talk about in a minute, has yeah. been definitely one of the highlights. The students all put on, um, turn the cafeteria into a bit of a celebration room, and you, you know they they stand up and they applaud you as you walk in, yeah. and it made you just, feel real special. Yeah, like yeah. super special. Like we feel like celebrities almost, yeah. which is really, <laughs> it's really um, humbling, and um, you know they're just fantastic people. We haven't felt at all. Um, you know, uncomfortable. No, it's just no. been. It's great. real funny when you like walk around the school. They've all got their white hats on, and you know, it's just from ages away. It'll be like two or three hundred meters away. They see you, and as soon as you sort of like make eye contact, they take the hats off and chwa. You know, <laughs> and it's, it's really loud. <laughs> yeah, and it just right across us. Yeah, it's yeah. real crazy. And then you have to stop, and you, you know, you can't keep walking and bow. So you bow back and you say konnichiwa. Mm. So yeah, but yeah, the um, dinner we met the principal as well yeah. of the school. And he's like a, they, you know, all the our interpreters said he's a legend, you know, bow down to him because yep. he's been a Karen racer in his time too. So it was pretty cool. But, yeah, the students have got a lot of personality, some of them, and they had heaps of questions for yeah. us. We did like a Q&A, which yeah. is pretty cool. They asked us if we had boyfriends and <laughs> when I said that I'd, when, when I said that they did, they were like, oh, and then when Paige is like, no, I didn't. They're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> so they were very happy that Paige doesn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. And then um, some guy got up and did like an impromptu song. Yeah. yeah the, which was kind of cute. The head of the student council. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so day, that was the end of day three. Yeah. Uh, day four. Yep, more lectures in the morning. <laughs> more school. <laughs> At school, yeah. So more. Um, so the lecture in the morning was about kind of like, um, like the rules and regulations with, with betting and, and, you know, not giving bribes and, yeah. and not, like, working with other people and not taking things into the Kieran school where you can communicate um, with the outside. So um, we learn a lot. Venues. Yeah, yeah, to the Kieran venues. So we learn a lot about um, how important this is and um, it's actually very important for the economy for the, for the Japanese people. Yeah. Um, I think it's only 25% of the winnings go to the competitors and the rest is actually put back into the... Japanese yeah. public, so that can go yeah. into the... There was the, the blind dogs, too. Yeah, the blind dogs, yeah. it goes into that. Whatever is needed. I think that the last thing that they put a lot of the money into was um, the car in industry, yeah. and they had um, one of the biggest years in the car industry last year yeah. as a result of the money spent with the Kieran School. 
However, um, over the last decade or so, it's slowly declined in popularity. So yeah. this is why that they, they have introduced the, the girls' Kieran to try and get a lot more younger men because it's all <laughs> older men who bet on the Kieran men, the, the boys' Kieran. So they're trying to attract a new crowd. And yeah. um, it's funny, actually, because around the 